This is my Atlas Shrugged Quadrilogy, a series of four different but interrelated sculptures. Each illustrates Ayn Rand's philosophy and her classic novel, Atlas Shrugged. Atlas One, Escape to Freedom. Atlas is angry. Atlas, representing the achievers of society, has carried the weight of the world on his shoulders, but the increasing weight of freeloaders who do not work and are supported by the state is now too much to bear. Atlas smashes his way out of the world of collectivism, escaping to freedom, so he can create his own perfect world. Atlas II, Genesis, A New Golden World. Atlas has now created his own perfect world, conceived in freedom of individual rights, embodied in laissez-faire capitalism, the new golden world, free of the weight of freeloaders. It's now rising in the air on its own power, no longer requiring Atlas to struggle with the weight of the world on his shoulders. Atlas Three, I own the world. Atlas Free from the restraints of collectivism, is now at its productive best. The new world, dedicated to individual rights, soars up in the air. The triumphant Atlas runs, pulling the world behind him as he races to achieve his destiny. Atlas 4. Together we are indomitable. The uniting of the man of achievement to the woman of achievement to produce a cohabitation of indomitable will and purpose, an alpha male and an alpha female. Each is physically beautiful, each mentally strong, each independent. Both share the same ideals and goals, which they pursue with impenetrable resolve. Together they race to their destiny pulling their new world of individualism behind them. This is Atlas. He represents all of the achievers of the world. This is pretty cool. Yeah. It's called Escape to Freedom. I've not he's, seen this one on a photo, I don't think. He's tired of carrying the world on his shoulders right. because half of the world are freeloaders. They don't work, they don't right. contribute. So it's too heavy. Oh, so you've got a political message in these ones. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a big political message. It's a capitalistic message. So you got uh, just Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and uh, the Americas show. Yeah. Everything else is blocked out. They're not free. So anyway, he's smashing his way to freedom so that he can create a new world for him. A brand new world. This is the next in the series. It's called Genesis, a new world, a new golden world. The world is no longer on his shoulders, it's rising in the air. Why is that? Because the freeloaders are gone. Only the people who produce are there. Only the okay. achievers. And that, that one over there? That is... This, this is... This is... The world is mine. Atlas is running with the world to achieve his destiny. And, and this is a world dedicated to lazy fear capitalism. Okay. Together we are done. You have to have a, you, you have to have, if you have a super alpha male, you have to have an alpha female. So, she is a uh, dominant. And he is a uh, power girl. Or he's Hank Wilson, or he's Tom Dalton. John Dalton. And uh, she's Daggy Tagger. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. And so, it says, together we are in Bombay. That's fantastic. I love that. Oh, you might be well. I'm sure.